In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get up and running with Nutanix clusters with Citrix virtual apps and desktops by bursting workloads into the cloud. We are first going to look at our Citrix virtual apps and desktop site in our Nutanix East Coast data center, showing you that I have an existing machine catalog, delivery groups, and a hosting connection, and that I can launch desktops in this data center. As you can see, our desktops and our Nutanix East Coast data center launches properly. Now that I am done testing, I'm going to log off the desktop and get ready to deploy clusters in AWS. First thing we're going to do is, is start the timer just so you can see how long it takes to get up and running with virtual apps and desktops on Nutanix clusters in AWS. Inside of our por cluster portal, I'm going to give the cluster a name, choose my AWS account, choose my existing VPC that I have set up and configured with VPN, select my host type, change the cluster size to 16 nodes, select my existing SSH key, and then set up my networking for access to PRISM and management services. On the next screen, I'm going to confirm my settings and click Create Cluster. After a few minutes, you'll see that the cluster has been initialized and we should see nodes that are booting to be able to be installed. After a few more minutes, you'll see the nodes are installing and they have their IP addresses. After about 40 minutes, the cluster is complete and now we can go ahead and do our initial cluster configuration. I'm going to log in with my default credentials and be prompted to change my password. Once my password is successfully changed, I will have to log back in with my new password and we will do the first time user configuration. I'm going to enter my information and accept the Nutanix end user license agreement in terms of use. I'm going to continue on Pulse Enablement screen and then go into my cluster. The first thing I'm going to do, since it's a new cluster, is give the cluster a virtual IP address. Once the virtual IP address is configured, I am going to set up the networking for the virtual machines. This networking will be based on user virtual machine networking that I have configured in my AWS VPC. I'm going to create an IP pool for the virtual machines. I am now going to configure my storage by creating a new storage container and configuring it for recommended settings for non-persistent workloads. That will be compression with zero delay just to have inline compression. Now I'm going to set up my data protection so I can replicate my master image from my Nutanix data center cluster into my cluster in AWS. I'm going to add the remote sites of my Nutanix data center cluster and configure the virtual IP address. I'm now going to do my network mapping for the clusters along with my container mapping for the clusters. Next, I will log into my Nutanix cluster in my East Coast data center and configure data protection. I will first add the AWS site as a remote site. Add the cluster virtual IP address of our Nutanix cluster in AWS. And do our mappings for network and for our storage containers.
Now the remote site is added, I will create a protection domain. I will give the protection domain a name. Select my master image. Configure a consistency group. And protect the selected entity. Now we'll create a schedule for application. And on this schedule, I'll make sure that it starts replication right away to get this image over to my cluster in AWS. Now that my application is running, I will go ahead and configure my hosting connection to my it has cluster in AWS in Citrix Studio. Now this delivery controller is on my Nutanix cluster in the Nutanix data center on the East Coast. And so all the process for machine creation services and brokering will come from this delivery controller. I do not have a delivery controller in AWS. Only the workloads will be ran for MCS. Once my hosting connection is created, I will modify the advanced settings for power management. I'll return to Prism and wait for my image replication to be completed and then restore that to my cluster in AWS. Once my master image is restored, I will check the settings to verify the mappings are correct. and then take a snapshot so I can create a machine creation services catalog. So in just under an hour, I have a cluster running in AWS. I have my master image replicated over to it, and I'm ready to create a machine catalog in Studio. I'm gonna go through and create my machine catalog making sure I select my hosting connection for AWS to burst my existing virtual apps and desktops into AWS from my Nutanix East Coast data center. Select all the proper settings, the master image snapshot. We're going to create 2000 desktops and modify our resources for the virtual machines. Select the proper OU and enter the proper naming convention. Give the mach machine catalog a name and verify all of our settings. In about 45 minutes, I will have 2,000 machines created. And we had a couple time task timeouts, so we had just under 2,000 machines created. Again, we are deploying machines into 
AWS from our East Coast data center uh, across the VPN with no local delivery controller in AWS. We're going to create a delivery group to publish the resources. Give it a name and verify our settings. Now we're going to modify the power settings for the delivery group. And then verify that we have some machines registered to launch a connection to. We're going to refresh Workspace app and launch our desktop in AWS. So as you can see, in an hour and 45 minutes, we were able to deploy a cluster in AWS, replicate our master image, and create just under 2,000 desktops and launch a session across a, a VPN from our Nutanix East Coast data center. That shows you how quick and easy you can burst your workloads into AWS with Nutanix clusters in AWS.